Well, this guy has truly made the takedown a thing of beauty in mixed martial arts with respect to yourself and George St. Pierre and the truly great takedown artists. This guy's closing the gap and, and entering that company in the eyes of men. Oh, absolutely, because He's done such a great job of timing takedowns. You didn't see, I haven't seen anyone so good at slipping a jab into a takedown since George St. Pierre. Right. He does a phenomenal job of getting from step one to step two before his opponent even realizes, now he's in on my leg. And if they do get their hips back, immediately he's up into a foot sweep or a headlock or an inside trip. It's just so many different ways for him to get you to the floor that he will throw every single one at you every single time. And a lot of fighters talk about that wrestling maintenance and how hard it is, right, over the course of a career to continue to drill those things. He talks a lot about that, and that's why he's continued to realize success here in the UFC. All right, here he is, DC. In my mind, this is the most dominant force in the MMA game today, the undisputed UFC lightweight champion, your AKA teammate, Khabib Nurmagomedov. Yeah, and for Habib, it's the well-rounded skill set that has propelled him to one of the longest undefeated streaks in mixed martial arts history. No missteps, no mistakes, no underestimation of opponents. Always prepared, always ready to go, and he can rely on his the coaching he gets, also on the ability that he has to carry him to victory time and time again. Wrestling, samba, jiu-jitsu, striking, the guy has it all. I know you listed striking last, but your head coach, Javier Mendez, says sometimes he's going southpaw yeah. in training. We haven't seen just how good a striker he is. We saw shades in the McGregor fight. Yes. But not completely. But technically, he has so many skills that he has not even displayed to the MMA community yet. All right, another big spot for Khabib Nurmagomedov here tonight. Or till the tape for this, our main event of the evening. So a more than five-year gap between these two fighters when it comes to the age, with the same height and a similar reach. All right, now for the official introductions. Here is Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Bergliata. And now, this is the moment you've all been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first. Fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 32 wins, 13 losses. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting out of Albuquerque, New Mexico, USA, Diego Nightmare Sanchez. And now introducing his opponent, Fighting out of the red corner. This man is a grappler, holding a professional record of 29 wins, no losses. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of the Republic of Dagestan, Russia, Habib the Eagle, Nurmagomedov. All right, been through the rules in the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, so back your corners, my fight. So here we go, this highly anticipated fight is now underway. Looks like a classic matchup of striker versus grappler. Am I simplifying things too much? 
in this instance, you aren't, because this is what got these two men to the show. Right. One guy is known for his diverse attack on the feet. The other guy is known for his ability to drag the fight to the mat and put his opponents in danger from the very start of the grappling exchanges. Good series of strikes by him there. Great job of mixing it up, staying active, keeping busy, doing great work. Try to establish that jab. Well, he's got the kicking game going tonight. Lands another one there. A beautiful kick, and all I can think of, better him than me. Throws the right hand there. They're certainly getting after it early. Oh, good job defensively to block the strike there by Nurmagomedov. Double jab there by Sanchez. What a punch. Look at him drive his hand into his own body with that body. Right hand on point. Big kick land. Oh, and he lands another counter strike here. He has landed several in this round. And if you are a counter striking stylist, you can do worse than watching this guy compete. Beautiful job defensively, head movement, foot movement, and ultimately finding a home for these counter shots repeatedly in this round. Good series of strikes for him there, staying busy and staying accurate. I mean, the accuracy is unbelievable. Uppercut lands for him. Oh, straight right. Nurmagomedov gets touched by that kick there. Oh, vintage stuff there. Nice combination of strikes by Sanchez. Ooh, big shot land. Beautiful body kick. Trying to establish that jab once again. Nice job moving off the center line. He slips to avoid that right hand. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Sanchez gets hit with a kick. Big power shot there. Over and over, he is landing punches to the head. Well, he continues to stay busy. What do they say, DC? Punches in bunches? Punches in bunches. He's landing them upside his opponent's head over and over again. Sanchez gets caught with that punch. Back to the jab now, no good. Back and forth we go. Oh, significant strike attempt there, but a huge block. Well, he has stayed technical, but he is really starting to chew up the opposition now. He came out super aggressive, as aggressive really as we've ever seen him in the UFC, and now starting to uptick the volume again. Nice start here in round one. Big call for punch land. Now he gets back to range. And he lands a kick to the leg now. Pretty good work on the feet tonight by Sanchez. Man, he's timing his shots nicely. It's like Tom Brady out there. He hasn't missed the target. I mean, you insist on bringing in Tom Brady. Stop it, John. <laughs> Sanchez's head kick is blocked, so no damage inflicted there. Swing and a miss by Nermago Meta. Well, you start to really worry about the wrestling, and there's that left hand from Cubby. Underrated. I mean, it's a very underrated part of his game, his ability to stand and strike with anybody in the UFC. Well, he got his head snapped back by that straight hand there, and he's shown a vulnerability tonight by leaning right into that punch as he tries to set up his own offense. May want to focus on some defense here moving forward. Ooh, what a punch. Ooh, nice slip there to avoid the punch by Nermago Medov. Oh, nice hook by him there. Not necessarily with full power, but certainly found the desired target. He's throwing those shots to damage your opponent and set up another shot down the middle. Well, we'll see if he can turn this defense into offense, but he's doing a great job blocking shots here tonight. As of right now, he's thinking more defensively, and he's doing a great job of not taking any damage. Big body kick. Right, 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 right. 
All right, let us get you some replays now from that previous round, DC, and certainly you got to think some body kicks are going to find their way into this highlight. Yeah, he's throwing these body kicks, and he's throwing them with all of his force. He is driving his shin into the rib of his opponent. If his opponent does not block these, if he does not catch these kicks, his night is going to end very soon. Okay, find your feet, keep the feet underneath you. Hit him a few times. All right, DC, buckle up. Here we go with our next round. High number of kicks landed in the previous round, and he'll look to keep it going. He'll look to keep winning the fight with his kick. He's throwing eye kick, leg kick, body kick. He's even throwing a couple spin kicks in there. This guy is so educated with fighting with his legs. Well, just as he did the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes here, and he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down. Scary, scary proposition for the opponent. He blocks the punch. Nice punch lands over the top. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Look at the torso on the right side. Major bruising, and it's only getting worse. That's a pretty good right hand there by your teammate, Khabib Nurmagomedov. You're so worried about the wrestling that when the hands come, you're not expecting it. Now, he lands early and lands off. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Good punch, land. To the headland, crushed there by Sanchez. And he lands another punch defensively. His opponent's got to do something to prevent further damage. But it comes in punches. No matter what he tries to do, he's going to answer the more of those strikes. Well, from a striking standpoint, he has put it all together tonight. He has landed a ton of significant strikes in. Pretty easy fight, I would think, for the judges. It's a pretty easy fight to score. Tonight was a night where everything went right, and that doesn't happen very often. Nice punch there. Now he touches him with the left. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter round. Oh, beautiful jab there, man. It's like you know what's coming, you can't stop it. I mean, you have to anticipate that jab coming, or he will batter and bruise you with that single strike. Oh, he heard him bat with the jab. Oh, man, it ain't Dikembe Mutombo, but he is blocking all these shots coming man, this way. Man, get that out of here. He sees it coming. You're going to have to mix it up. Shake that finger. Shake that finger. Sanchez gets caught with that punch. He'd be wise to get those hands up. Excellent land by him there with the uppercut. If he had changed the angle, that could have been a knockdown. I mean, he threw every part of himself into that strike. He got him whip his hip into that kick. Nurmago Medov's kick to the body here. That one appeared to be blocked. Well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed some significant strikes, but his corner's looking for him to mix it up a little bit more and just throw more volume. Because they don't see too much of a threat. This guy has to have confidence in knowing that when he extends his combinations, he's still safe, but he's also going to be able to land. He's got to be finding that confidence in his mind that all the reps in the training room are going to pay off. Lands with the kick there. No pat on that foot. No shit guard taking all of that kick every time he goes. Sanchez's lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swell. Oh, stiff jab in the face. There's another. DC didn't take him long to find his range here tonight, huh? His timing is on point. Oh, and he lands another strike to the body. Not a ton of real estate there, but he certainly found it. Great punch. Oh, counters with an overhand left. He stuck that one. Oh, that's a beautiful strike there by Khabib. Don't call him a one-trick pony. Don't call him a one-trick pony, John, because he isn't. He is a guy that is able to mix everything up inside the octagon. Sanchez gets tattooed by that straight punch. Continuing to go to the head. And that one certainly found the target. Stay on him. Just out of range with the straight left hand. That's a big strike right there. And now they 
they are throwing both sides with conviction. Man, it's almost like he's got a range finder out there. Just too easy as he connects with another good series of punches. If you're boxing this guy and only boxing him, you will be in trouble. Well, it's one thing to have length. It's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Nermago Medley. Right on the button. Final seconds here. Blocks the shot. Ooh, what a punch. And the horn sounds on round two. All right, so there's the end of the round, and we will continue to keep an eye on the cut on the nose. That thing is only getting worse. And again, you got to get that guard up. And even when he does, it seems like the strikes are getting through. That is a significant cut now on the bridge of his nose. All right, let's take a look back at some of the highlights from those previous five minutes, DC. And uh, no padding, no glove on that foot. No glove, no padding. And look at the hip action when he throws those kicks. He's not only kicking just for feel, he's really trying to damage his opponent. And as the fight goes longer, you will start to see it taking effect. Nermago Medov's shot is blocked. Another shot lands upstairs. Again, he's looking for that left. It's not there. Really timing his shots nicely. Good tempo, very accurate, finding the range with relative ease. Yeah, he's doing a great job of really overwhelming his opponent with activity. Missed with that attempt. And lands the left there. Ooh, blocks the shot. And he continues to work the body here. Oh, lands a stiff punch there. Nice connection. Oh, nice land. Nice counter shot there. Oh, nice slip there. It sounds simple, right? Hit and don't get hit. But this guy's defense has been sharp tonight. Cat mouse. You got to play cat mouse. Hit and don't get hit. He does a great job of that. Boom. Straight left hand. Look at the angle of that nice body kick. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Big punch man over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Kick to the body by Sanchez. Oh, nice straight there. I guess that's the quickest way to the target, right? Just throw straight. Straight down is always better. Sanchez's lower jaw looking extremely swollen now. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. And he landed the right hand there. Pinpoint accuracy on that kick. No wind-up, no tell, just a brutal kick. Just missed with the left there. Real nice body kick land. Lands a strike there. You wonder if the offensive fighter is going to start to get frustrated here. Most stiffed on all these shots are getting blocked. They're getting blocked because he's fighting one of the best defensive fighters in the UFC. Unable to connect with the right hand there. Well, you've got to admire the urgency here. He is trying to keep the judges out of it. Lighten up his opponent left and right. Oh, nice, nice right hand. And both guys really throwing with authority. Beautiful strike. That right hand hurt him a little bit. Nice one, two there. Blow of the fight. I mean, it was perfect. It was absolutely perfect, John. Great placement on that uppercut. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. Oh! Sanchez gets caught with that punch. Man, the body work really starting to take its toll here. Obvious redness on that right side. Combination lands, and it seemed like almost every strike. Oh, he's hurt. He's hurt bad. Oh, he might be out. Knee to the body. They're going at it now. And now he lands a combination. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively protecting the head and sort of maybe letting his opponent gas out a little bit with all the volume. His opponent sees the target, but he can't get to the target. So he'll continue to throw, and he'll continue to wear on his own gas tank. 
Well, you don't want to say Khabib has fallen in love with his striking, but he certainly is boxing more than he did early on in his UFC career. Now we'll see if he can follow it up. That one snuck in. Nice strike. Nice right punch followed by a left. You take more of these leg kicks, you will not be able to be very active on your feet. Nurmagomedov gets hit with a kick here. That one landed flush. Let's see if he can make some adjustments. Oh, you... See his hands look good, a lot of volume, a lot of accuracy tonight. He's doing a great job being accurate, but he's also very fast. Look at the hand speed. Right. All right, there's the clap for 10 seconds to go. Oh, nice combination of strikes there. In terms of the accuracy, I mean, that's exactly what a coach is looking for. That's exactly. It's like the guy is hitting pads. It's like he's hitting focus mitts, but instead, he's dancing all over his opponent's face. All right, let's check out some of the action from that previous round, DC, and what a display on the feet. Huge knockdown with that kick. Yeah, he's a high-level striker. He throws these kicks to the body, he throws them low, but when he goes up top, he's very powerful, and he can end anybody's night. The toughness displayed by his opponent allowed him to stay in the fight, but he cannot take many more of those types of strikes. All right, next round is underway. You know these are two of the more conditioned fighters on the roster, so cardio is not going to be an issue here. And for some fighters, you know, you can have one of those adrenaline dumps or the cardio abandons you on fight night. Not the case for these two guys. Both look very fresh as we start this next round. Oh, he lands a hook there, DC. That was one of his more significant lands of the fight. He can land that strike over and over again. He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with his body movement. Complete performance out of this fighter. Power strike there, he could be in trouble. He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. He doesn't know if he's in the octagon or at his mama's house for Thanksgiving. Uh -huh. Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Knock him out. Right, Look at how he's hurt. He's hit over when he throws that kick. Oh. Looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Wow! And just like that, the fight is over. He's done, he's done. What a fight! Just the way he drew it up as he gets the knockout victory here tonight. It's hard to land a strike more flush than he did right there. And I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming. So he'll see the replay and probably shake his head. But ultimately, this is a huge result and a huge win for that fighter here tonight. So a seminal moment for him here tonight as he gets the huge knockout victory that could hold up as one of the better knockouts of the year. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Rigliato's called a stop to this contest at one minute, four seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by knockout, Diego Nightmare Sanchez! Well, he's smiling ear to ear, and why not after a knockout like that? I need to take it to the after party tonight. I mean, 